Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophinus and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. We're right here in the profane capital in front of a giant fog gate, which um, begs the question if we're gonna face Yorm the Giant already, because we are in the profane capital, which he's rumored to be from, which he apparently destroyed when he uh, reignited the flame. And, uh... Well, these messages are saying pretty much the same thing. I need to go for the throne and then try a weapon. Um, don't know what that's going to mean. I'm guessing that will be uh, another one of those gimmick boss battles. That means that I can't really damage him all that much. Except if I do certain actions. I do think it's sad I have 30,000 souls, but... Uh, well, YOLO. And that was silly. Um, the Orm the Giants, yeah, there we go. Um, so try Throne and then the Weapon. He doesn't look all that big, actually. Okay, so I'm running. doing anything. Storm Ruler. Oh wow, okay, yeah. I got something now. Now, that was interesting. I couldn't really damage him. He was extremely powerful, but I got something. I think it was a weapon. It looked like a sort of spear, but... Oh, here it is. Storm Ruler. Great sword with a broken blade, also known as the Giant Slayer for the residual strength of a storm that brings giants to their knees. Yorm the Giant once held two of these, but gave one to the humans who doubted him and left the other to a dear friend before facing his fate as a Lord of Cinder. Skill, Storm King, as soon stands to imbue sword with storm, most effective when facing giants. How much does that thing weigh? Eight. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Not gonna be needing the bow. I'm wondering if I can carry both of these things, just in case I need the damaging normally. And I can carry it because it has no requirements. So let's see here. Uh, it looks cool. If I two-hand this, because the shield is actually not useful to me as well. Um, just slashes. But... Now it's imbued. But how do I see when that's... Hmm. So let's swap. And now this thing. Absolutely nothing. How does this work? Oh. Oh, I need to charge it up. So, let's two-hand charge the thing up. Before we enter. And then go through. Let's do this. This won't have anything but... Okay, so...
this is still not doing anything. Oh wow, okay. That's the trick. to charge it and when it's charged hold all two and use the heavy attack so I think I only need one more Cinder done. That wasn't that hard once you know what you're supposed to be doing. Ah, oh God. The fire fades and awaits its one last reward. Okay, and is that supposed to be us? Oh, 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 okay. I just disappeared. Save his soul. Sinners of the Lord, soul of your and the giant. So yeah, that's everything we saw back there. Oh god, what happened? So we're back, if I'm not mistaken, we're back in Lotric, right? Yeah, because that's the ladder we couldn't reach. So this is where we got uh, the lady that we got the the flag so we could go down beyond Vort over there. Uh, she appears to have been attacked. Hmm. Uh, maybe to explain how I did that. So if you charge the sword like this with Alt L2, you can then hold L2 and just tap the heavy attack and you will do this. And that just brought him to his knees. And it only takes about five, I think I had to do, before he went down. So now, what is going on here? I'm going to quickly equip my stuff again. Uh, where's it got the staff, staff, stuff over here. Okay, so let's talk to... I forgot her name. Idol happened to you too, okay. Prince Lothric is in your hands yeah you already Please said that save his soul tell him what he must be a lord basin of vows okay isn't that ladder supposed to go down oh gold are you fucking kidding me Are they gonna punch me into- oh, for fuck's sake. Can I homeward bone, please? Yup, that surely looks like a boss fight. Is 
Yeah, it looks like a boreal night. Oh wait, the dancer is not far away. So is this the dancer? Oh god. This isn't gonna end well. Yeah, dancer of the boreal valley. She's moving really strangely. Oh, shite. Oh, what is she doing? Oh, second sword. Okay. gonna back off. I'm out of as this flasks. Well, that didn't end well. I don't know where I'll respawn. Okay. Well, since we're back here, I am gonna try and reach Yorm again. And I'm gonna suppose there's a bonfire over there as well. So yeah, there is a bonfire over here. So why... Why did they just warp us over there and throw us in another boss fight immediately? Okay, so, rest. Travel. And let's head... Toward Lothric. Hmm. Vort is probably the easiest one, because I just have to walk up the staircase and I'm going to be there. Okay. Uh, wait a second. What the hell happened to the sky? Holy shit, why is it burning? And there's cinders flying through the air. I'm gonna quickly read the soul description for Yorm. Yorm is the descendant of an ancient conqueror, but was asked by the very people once subjugated to lead them, serving as both a weighty blade and a stone heart shield. Doesn't say much. And then we have the Cinders of a Lord. Uh, lonely Yorm became a Lord of Cinder to put the profaned flame to rest, knowing full well that those who spoke of him as Lord were quite insincere. And then that Basin of Vows chalice used in old ceremony in which Lothric knights take their vows. It is only a formality now, but it remains as an empty practice. Place this basin at a statue of a beheading knight. Okay, so when we kill the dancer, we can place that right where it belongs. But now, I need to kill the dancer. Luckily, it's only protected by low-level enemies. Yeah, okay. Knew that was gonna happen. 
Ai! She's really peaceful when she's in this stage. Okay, that went far. Hmm. Wonder if she's parryable. Well, not like that, probably. Well, that was close. Okay, okay, she can grab me. Yeah, okay. Wow! Impalements and death! Oh, fuck off. <laughs> what? What?
Dancer. Dancer of the Boreal Valley. Complete. Okay, that took a while. Um, well, uh, any advice? Well, the biggest advice. The first phase you can just hack away. She only has limited attacks. The grab attack is probably the most dangerous one. Since it's a one-hit kill. And, um, well, in the second phase, try not to get hit. I kept my distance eventually, I just kept my distance and if I saw a combo end I just went in, swiped once, maybe twice, mostly only once because if you get greedy you'll die, you'll simply die. Uh, but it's actually a really cool boss, great design as well. But now we have a bonfire over here as well, uh, I'm gonna rest in a second, you know what, I'm gonna rest and uh, that will be it for this episode. I'm going to travel to Firelink Shrine after this. And in the next episode, we'll continue on. We'll uh, level up with the souls we've got. I'll put the embers, the cinders of Yorb on its throne. And uh, we'll probably head up that ladder, I suppose, once I put that bowl over there. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you liked the episode, the double boss episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube, and if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel, because I'd really appreciate any support you can give me. So thank you guys again enormously for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video or stream. Goodbye!